Alright guys, I'm going to do a quick update on the 340 gallon tank. Um, as you can tell from looking, it is significantly different in that there's hardly any SPS coral in the tank. And we'll go through that in a minute and I'll discuss what happened. Or what I believe happened because I'm... I'm not 100% sure on what happened. Really the only thing that's changed since last time is the fact that all the SPS is gone and I did end up getting two MP60s for the side of the tank and I know somebody commented in the comments about the focusing on this camera but I still am not able to get it to focus. I moved the 40s on the back wall. There's one there. And there's one back there. Other than the other MP60. Right there. They work pretty good. Push a lot of water. A lot of random flow. One thing I might do, I'm not sure if I want to spend the money on it or not, but is that the drivers for my MP40s are the older style drivers. The MP60s obviously are the newer style and they won't communicate in the modes that the newer drivers offer. So the nutrient export, things like that, the old drivers just go into a full full speed mode whenever it's in the modes that they don't operate in I think the the upgraded drivers are uh, $80, $100 or something like that I looked at them at one point in time and just it works fine causes a lot of random flow in the tank but as you can see all the SPS is gone and I actually just took it out two days ago and I wanted to cry but what's weird the clams LPS corals they're doing good and there is a new new guy new gang member a little leopard grass I picked up he's pretty sweet I like him looks pretty cool but back to the cause of the SPS what I believe happened was I know in the last video some people commented on the noise that that little dosing pump was making and what happened was shortly after I made that video the dosing pump actually went out on me and without having another one on hand I had to order one luckily the one I had was still under warranty so I called they said no problem box it up send it back and we'll send you a new one well since I kinda needed it pretty soon I went ahead and ordered one and they sent it out that day but for the time being for the auto top off I was actually every day when I'd come home from work I'd look at my water level and of course it would you know be around here somewhere. I'd take this blue jug, fill it up with the RO water, top it off. So every day I was doing it and it was fluctuating some, not much. But what was happening is I wasn't dosing the calc anymore. My pH would still stay up and when I finally, when that pump did come in, I was super excited. So I opened it up, hooked it all up, stuck it in there and it was dead silent. Operating perfectly. What I didn't realize is that the water level was still low that day. So as soon as I hooked it up, it was going back through the calc reactor. And what I assume happened was I overdosed the tank with calc. If there's anybody out there that would like to comment or leave a comment, you know, help me out. But that is the only thing I can think of that happened to this tank is that that's the only thing that's changed besides the mp60s which i mean i don't 
think there's too much flow in the tank. I mean, there's flow, but I mean, it's not nothing's getting directly blasted or anything like that. That's the only thing I could think of. My lights are good, the bulbs are good, you know. I just I don't know, temperature's good. That's the only thing I could think of that happened. Oh, I wish I could figure out how to focus this thing. There we go. 79.3 and the pH is 8.31. See if that works. There we go. And I'll tell you what, these things, they are they are pretty quiet for the flow, the amount of flow they produce, but they are noticeable. But I don't know if y'all will be able to pick this up. You can hear them, but they're not they're not too bad. Well, yeah. So we're actually considering moving and at this point I'm not really sure if I'm willing to spend the money on restocking my corals or if I just want to wait and wait till we move to actually restock the tank with coral. Um, I know it's going to be a tremendous hassle on moving everything as is, you know, let alone having 40 different SPS pieces running around in the tank. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait. I think the copper band is new too since the last video. Uh, maybe not. No, I think I've had them. But if anybody wants to comment, maybe leave an opinion, help me out, because I'm still very confused. All the parameters are good. The salt batch that I've been using is good. I just, I don't know what happened. All the SPS, the tip, started burning, and it just worked its way down. It wouldn't stop. There's very few pieces left in the tank very few pieces and even the ones that are left they're still still not doing good but hopefully they'll return yeah quick little update I know people have asked I'm sorry it's not in the condition it once was in you know I've had this tank going for five years and this system that I've been using has worked fine up until recently. Much better. Skimmer still doing good. But yeah, if y'all want, help me out, leave a comment, I appreciate it. Just to fill y'all in on what I actually took out of the tank, this is a uh, pretty good sized box of all the dead pieces. It's pretty big money, and of course with me pulling it out of the tank, with my canopy actually only being able to pull back so far without falling off the front of the tank I uh, had to break quite a few of them up the bigger guys but this thing is just full of coral or dead coral I'm sorry and we have another box with some of the bigger pieces and my green slimer or what's left of them after I broke them all up to get them out of the tank. 
I mean, this thing was pretty good size. Hawkins Enchanta. Gone. Little bird's nest. Quite a few pieces in here. A lot of time, money, and effort. But that's it. We'll do it again. It'd be too easy to give up. Appreciate it, guys.